Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this video tip, I'm going to show you how to make a 3D flip book from a PDF file and how you can do it in less than a minute. It's really easy to do. Now, if you're not familiar with a PDF flip file, I'll show you one. Here's one on the screen that I created from a, a PDF file I downloaded from the Road Trek site. And what you see is the front page of the brochure. Now, the way this works is to change pages, you just click the button. And you can see that it allows you to move through the brochure, move through the PDF file, and see all the pages as if you were reading a magazine. Now there are other features as well. You can search for words in the brochure. You can view thumbnail views of all the pages. You can go to any page you want. You can turn sound on and off. You can switch the language. You can share on social networks. Easy to do. So you can click a button to go to a page. Now the program that I'm using to do this is called Flip PDF and it really is nice. Now you may be wondering well, why would you want to use something like this? Well if you've got your own books or brochures or sales catalogs or anything else like that it's a lot easier to read one of these and it'll attract attention if you put it on your website in a flip format like this. Now if you don't have your own book or brochure or catalog you might have clients who will pay you to take their flat PDF files and convert it into a 3D flip book. Now let me show you how easy it is to use. Now the software I'm using is called Flip PDF and I've downloaded the trial version and this is what it looks like when you start it up. We're going to click Try to try the software. And once we open it we can click New Project. And when we click New Project we can choose either the Flash version or HTML5. I recommend you choose the HTML5. Now it'll still default to Flash if the computer or phone or mobile device who views the page created with the Flip PDF can't play HTML5. So we click OK. And then we choose a file we want to import. Now I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to find a PDF file to convert. Let's convert Future Watch, which is something I created about 20 years ago. We'll click OK. Now I can choose the page quality and size. I think I'm going to go to medium quality, medium file size. I can choose advanced options by going here, but there's really no need to. So we click Import Now. And there it is. That process took less than 30 seconds. And my flipbook is actually ready to publish if I should choose to. Now if I click the buttons, you can see it opens the pages and I can flip through this PDF document that I created a long time ago and it shows all the features in that document. Now there isn't any sound, we may want to add some sound. So to add sound we come over to the search bar, we type in sound and it shows us, do we want to show a sound button? I do want to show that. Do I want a page flipping sound? Well like, yeah I do, so I'm going to click yes. If I want to add a background sound, which means I can add a music track or a narration track, I can, but I really don't want to do that. Now when anytime I make changes I want to come up here and click apply changes and now when I play it you can see that it has sounds. One of the other neat features is that I didn't have to do anything for this index to automatically work. This table of context if you click it it will go directly to the page that you clicked. Now the template that I've chosen for this is called H5 Metro. It has a number of features like thumbnails. You can click thumbnails it'll bring the thumbnails up on the screen. Uh, it has a zoom feature. It, has a share feature that you can share a link to this flipbook with others on your social network if you wanted to. Now the way this works is now that I've created it, if I want to go in and make changes I can click the down arrow here and choose from a number of other templates. I can change the background, I can change the position of the buttons, I can change the way it looks, but we're just going to leave it the way it is right now. I can also see what it looks like on different devices. Right now it's looking on desktop mode, but if I want to I can see what it looks like on an iPhone. And it still has the sound, you can still read it. Now if I want to see what it looks like on an iPad, I can click that link. It shows me what it looks like on an iPad. If I want to see what it looks like on an Android phone, again, I can do that. Or an Android pad like that. You can see it looks pretty nice on all of them. Now if I want to go back to desktop mode, I click None, it goes to desktop mode. Now the way this works is that once you have it the way that you want, once you've played it and got it exactly the way you want, you got the background you want and the page turning and everything else, you can publish it. Before I publish it, I do want to let you know that there's two versions of Flip PDF. This is the standard version, which is $99, and then they had the Flip PDF Professional. The difference is, on the Professional, you, you can go in and edit pages, and you can do things like add videos. So if you wanted to add a video right in the middle of your Flipbook, you could. You could also add audio files and other things as well. Anyway, if we wanted to publish this, we would click the Publish button here. We can upload online. We can go to an FTP server. We can email it to somebody, or we can create a screensaver out of it. I just want to publish it to my computer. See, I can publish this HTML, or as an executable file, or as an app, 
or as a WordPress plugin, a Joomla plugin, or a Drupal plugin. But I want to publish it as an HTML file that I can put on my computer. So I'm going to call this Future Watch 1 and give it the HTML title and then click Convert. And what that does, you saw how quick it did. It created an HTML file and folders that I can upload and let the flipbook work on my site. And I can also send it by email or I can send it to a USB device or I can upload it directly to my site. Let's just open the folder and see what we have. You can see it created an index file, some subfiles and some subfolders. To make this work, you just upload these to your site. It's probably in a, its own subfolder that you can link to. So let's click it to see what it looks like. And there's our book. Now, because I have the trial version, it's got a little overlay here of their watermark, but that'll disappear soon as you register the program. And there's the book. This is what it would look like online. Again, we created that with a software that's called Flip PDF. And you saw how easy it is to use. There are lots of other things you can do to customize it. Uh, we can apply changes anytime we make uh, changes to it itself. Like I said, we can change the background look if we want to put something different behind it we can we can choose these and it happens very quickly it's a fast loading program it works great I haven't had any problem with it I'm, I'm very impressed for what you get now to find the program you go to flipbuilder.com and the program is called flip PDF it's $99 and if you're in the business of creating flip books for clients it's well worth that price and in fact if you're creating books for clients and they ask for special features you might want to go ahead and get flip PDF professional but if you publish a newsletter or if you have brochures or catalogs or short booklets or things like that that you want to put on the web or make available on different devices, this is really a nice way to go. Now Flip Builder is not the only software out there that will do this. There are several other softwares that almost all do the same thing. Prices would go anywhere from $99, which is the least expensive I can find for a reliable one, to a much, much higher price. In addition to the Flip PDF, they also have Flip from PowerPoint and a number of other similar products to create Flip Builders. They got Flip PDF, they got Flip PDF for Mac, Flip PDF Pro, Flip Shopping Catalog, Flip Office, Flip Office Pro, Flip PowerPoint, Flip Trifold. So they have lots of different options you can choose from. Again, for the type of things that I do or, or what my clients would be interested in doing, Flip PDF or Flip PDF Pro would be the one that would be the work the best. Uh, you can find this at flipbuilder.com. thought you might be interested in it. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.